Hello and welcome, or welcome back, to Scottish Mama Budgets. We are a family of five living in Scotland, documenting our journey learning how to budget using the cash envelope system, where we would like to remain accountable by sharing our process, hoping to create better spending and saving habits with our money. If you would like to follow us on our journey as we learn through a process of successes and failures, please feel free to subscribe and hit the like button on this video. Um, hi guys. Um, first of all, I'd just like to say sorry for there being basically nearly two weeks between videos and not doing a monthly check-in or a weekly check-in at all for the whole month of October. Um, obviously I was poorly and then we had a wedding and then when I came back from the wedding I was sick again, worse than I had been the week before and then my youngest was unwell and coupled with just feeling run down and basically the whole world going to pot, um, I was just feeling a bit down and... I spent money on Etsy. That was the one thing I didn't want to do all October was to buy nothing off Etsy. And I failed dramatically, as you're about to see. Um, but I'm still on track to stuff the cash that I want to stuff tomorrow. So I've not ruined my budget, even though I could, honestly couldn't tell you how much I've spent or where I've spent anything this month, really. Um, and I'm just not brave enough to go and look at my bank statement to find out, really. Um, sorry, I was just going to the camera there to see. Okay, that's a bit better. Um, so yeah, this is basically going to be showing my new binder setup. I'm going from the two clear binders and having an annual and a variable to I'll go to having three and they will be variable, annual and long term. Um, in my head that just kind of makes sense. And I've got other Happy Meal to show you. Um, so yeah, I'll buy in no particular order. I'll just do these. So first up we have from Dee Dee Louise Budgets, this beautiful little challenge card. Um, so each one of these is £5, it says be kind to yourself um, and you just take them off as you do them and I love this little freebie. Um, I've actually placed two orders, so I've got two of these and I can't wait to use them. I might put them in my, hmm, one of my new envelopes that I'll show you. <laughs> and then these, this was the collab with the Budgeting Bear. Um, I believe this one is from the Budgeting Bear and this one is from Dee Dee Louise. So if you ordered from either of their two shops, you would have got both of these. Um, and this one's just a little Halloween word search and then this one's a colour in. I think this comes to £80 and this one, you choose how much each word is worth so you can make it entirely your own. So first up we have her OG um, birthday treats challenge. This is to save £500. Um, and I'll just start off saying right away. We would not typically spend £500 on someone's birthday in our house. That's a normal birthday. Um, there is five of us here and I just couldn't afford to pay two and a half grand a year on birthdays alone. Like it's just not feasible. Um, but this would be for big birthdays. So it's my partner's 30th in February. It's mine next year. Um, so it's actually my birthday next week. I turn 29. So this time in a year I'll be turning 30. Um, and then the year after that my mum will turn 60. And the year after that my eldest will be 13. And... Yeah, basically this will just get reused for each big birthday that's coming up for, you know, whoever it is. And to put £500 away for someone's birthday throughout the year, it's not actually that bad. So most of them are £40, March is 55 yeah, the majority are 40 and then you have a £45 one there. Um, so yeah, it's it works out really well. But on a typical not big birthday birthday for me and my partner, we only spend about £120 to £150 on each other. Um, So... I got her to make these and these are put that aside these are worth 150 pounds each and you can see the highest month on there is september for 20 pounds but most of the other months are between 10 pounds and 15 pounds which i think's a lot more doable for each of us so this will be for his normal birthday won't be getting used for the one coming in february but i can start this at the end of january and i'll already be ahead which feels great um and for mine He'll need to, it'll be up to him to either transfer the money to put in here or to put it in himself. Um, but yeah, that's mine and that's his. And then for the kids, we got her £250 um, birthday trackers. So one for Brody, one for Teddy and one for Mia. And these are her original colours. So these three are her original colours. And that's just because ours were at a different value. Um, if ours could just be a slightly different colour. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure why I wanted a different colour, but I did. So I'll show you this one. So the values on this one are 
mostly £20. You have one twenty-five, no, two twenty-fives. No, sorry, three. <laughs> I can't even talk. Three twenty-five pounds. The rest are twenty pounds, and you have one that's fifteen pounds, and that's yeah, again, much more manageable for us. Um, but if you compare the three, I don't know if she'll ever actually stock um the one hundred and fifty pound one on her Etsy, but I'll leave um her Etsy link down below. So yeah, this is going five hundred, two fifty, and one fifty, and I absolutely love these. These will get put in each of our envelopes for our birthdays. Um, for the boys, I don't think I'll be spe would spend a few hundred, two hundred and fifty pounds on their birthdays um on gifts alone because they'll only be turning four and five um in April, whereas me is turning eleven in April. So hers will likely all get spent on gifts, but whatever's left from the boys, I will just use towards ingredients for a cake or a day out kind of thing. So it makes it kind of more fair that way. Next up, we have Budget with Zoe. So I got her Optician's Challenge and her Dental Challenge. Um, and I don't have my loyalty card here. Wait, I think I do, actually. Because when you look at it, you can see I really like Budget with Zoe. That's my loyalty card, and I've only got three more to go. Um, yeah, I love her products. These are the insert size, um, laminated. They're not too big. They're about a similar size to Dee Dee Louise. And again, I love savings challenges that are this size. They aren't too thick. They aren't too big. They can fit in every envelope, and they're also not hard to get in and out the envelope. Um, you can choose the values for each of these, and yeah, I just can't wait to get them started. And this will, as always, I'll try and link everything below that I can think of. If I miss anything, just leave a comment and basically tell me that I missed something. Um, but I'll try and remember everything the best I can. This is my very first order from Planning with Ella. So, yeah, I'll tag her down below and her Etsy shop. All three of these sellers so far also have Instagram. But first up, I got her self-care challenge, um, admittedly. And you'll see in a minute. I forgot I'd ordered this, so I'd ordered a different self care challenge, but they'll come to completely different values, so I can just swap and change to whatever one actually suits my mood. This one saves £50, and yeah, it's just really cute. It's a nice small target, and it wouldn't feel too overwhelming to complete, and I think I wouldn't feel too, guil too guilty spending money on myself when it's just putting you know, like a little fibre away. Next up, we have the skincare savings challenge, and I love skincare. I love hand cream. I love getting new cleansers, toners, serums, moisturizers, all that kind of thing. I love skincare way more than makeup because I hardly <laughs> wear makeup. Um, so yeah, this is just to save up. Um, because I love Lush as well. Um, I think it's their Let the Good Times Roll cleanser. It's like it's a slightly exfoliating. It smells like popcorn. Oh my goodness, that is like heaven for my skin. It's so good. So this would be to save up for, for like a little splurge. And you choose how much each one's worth. Say 300 I think this one's quite new. Um, I'm going to put this in our Costco envelope. Um, so I won't be designating money out of my budget every time I stuff for Costco. It will be whatever's left in my food and home envelope. Well, after two weeks, we'll go in the Costco and I'll tick it off. And when we get to £300, that's when I'd like to go do a little Costco haul. Because I feel like that's a good amount to have. Um, and I wouldn't have to really worry about overspending. Next up is the £10 challenge to save £400. I'm not 100% sure where I want to put this yet because um, when I get a savings challenge, it doesn't just go in a plain envelope and it's just a challenge for the sake of doing a challenge. I put it in a category that I want to roughly save up that amount for. Um, so I make it suit my needs and it's in my binders and it's got a task that's directed directly to it. Um, so I haven't quite decided where this one wants to go. Um, but when I go through my envelopes, I might kind of see which ones I'm kind of dithering between about putting this one in. But again, um, I know with this challenge, I'll basically use reallocated money from my weekly spending to go in here. Um, so yeah, that's my four from Planning with Ella. And they feel lovely. Again, these are a nice size. They're the same length. They're a little bit taller, but no biggie. They're still a nice size and that's the kind of vibe I go for. Her thank you card also has a little save 50 bingo on the back. Um, and I think I might give this to Mia to do because the highest number on it's £5. And I think this would just be a really cute challenge for her to do. Next up we have one from the Queen Bee Makes. 
and she gave a cute little paper clip. I'll be keeping that. Oh, I've actually opened this one yet. Oh, thank you, Kate. That's very cute. So this is a little no spend 30 day challenge. It's a little freebie. I really like that. I kind of wish it was laminated so then I could wipe it off with acetone and redo it every month. But yeah, I'd ordered this forgetting I'd ordered the planning with Ella one. But this one I can choose the value of it. So even if these each of these are five pounds, it would come to £125 instead of just 50, like the planning with Ella one. So for me this would be if it was a bigger target. Um maybe if I wanted to go for a spa day or you know, I don't know, put towards clothing because I'm really bad for that. So much so that it got to the point where family and friends would only give me gift cards for my birthday to places that didn't sell anything for kids really because if I got cash I'd end up spending all my birthday money on the kids and still not buying myself anything um but now that I'm doing this and I'm putting money away for the kids and I can see that they've got money to spend um I think I'm actually going to be a lot better with spending stuff on myself for a change next up we have oh I'm so excited for this one this was a custom order from Moo Budgets and it's a it's a Harry Potter envelope Oh, sorry, it's not actually Harry Potter. She did it in a very clever enough way where she's not breaking any copyright laws. But here we have a library full of books and Hedwig and it says, when in doubt, go to the library. And if you're a Harry Potter geek, that is a Hermione quote. So it's a little peekaboo design envelope. So you'll see the money when it's in there. And on the back, it's a tracker. So each one of these I want to be worth £40 to save £800 to go to the Harry Potter studios and to also hopefully stay in the Georgian House Hotel because they have wizard Hogwarts themed um, rooms that look like the dormitories and I would just absolutely love to go. Obviously we're up in Scotland so going down to London isn't a case of just hopping on a train for the day um, and I get really bad travel sickness so I wouldn't want to do that either. Um, like being a two long haul trains in the one day. So yeah that I would love to be able to do this for my 30th birthday next year but logistically with the money I want to put away for my emergency fund and for moving home, I don't think that'd be feasible. But I still will put money away in this when I can. And when it's fully funded, I'll look at booking to go. Um, but yeah, Jules at Moo Bud Mo Budgets did an absolutely cracking job on this. I love it so much. And she very kindly sent, um, sorry, gifted this Black Friday envelope. And this is on her Etsy store right now, so you can choose how much each bag is worth. Or you could just write a number on the bag when you put money in to show the value of it. Or you can make the bigger bags £10 and the smaller ones £5. Or the bigger bags 20 and the smaller ones 10 It's completely up to you. And it's also a little envelope. Um, I won't be able to start this for this Black Friday because I've not even really wanted Christmas yet. But I will definitely be using it for next year. Um, and hopefully um, we can get some really good deals for home stuff on the Black Friday sales next year. So yeah, I was so, so pleased with that. I've been so pleased with everything, really. Um, but yeah, and the next order is from oh, Iris Budgets. And I absolutely love these. So I got a bunch of placeholders. And I'm the person who asked her to make this Lilac 4K Isso Challenge. Um, she sent a lovely little thank you card. Saying thank you so much for your order and for the inspiration. I hope you like them. And I do. I absolutely love them. Thank you, Iris. So she had challenges that were 1k, 2k, 3k, 5k and a 500. And I absolutely hate odd numbers. <laughs> so I asked her if she would make a 4k. And she did. And I asked if it could be lilac with thistles. And that's all I said. And she made this. And it's, I don't know if you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. I know she calls this thistles on her Etsy, but I'm going to call this my Flower of Scotland challenge just because it's Scotland's national song and yeah, I'm, I'm Scottish. <laughs> so here you can see the denominations are 150, 150, 150. I counted it up and there was four 200s and six 150s and then the rest are 100s and 50s. Um, this challenge I would use for basically new flooring paint and hopefully stretch to curtains and blinds for when we move home um, because I think this is the minimum that we would need quite honestly um, but yeah the envelopes so 
here you'll see you've got 150, 150 and that's the order that these go in. So your first one is 100, 50, 150, 100 and yeah, I just absolutely love it. And then I got four <laughs> sets of placeholders. So we've got the £50. And we have four of those. And there's the 100. We have four of those again. 200. And again, four of those. 500. This is like a beautiful burnt orange copper. And again, four of those. And then the same vellum colour that's on this is we have the 1000s. And I cannot wait to put one of these in my emergency fund um, envelope when I manage to complete that. But yeah, four of those. I absolutely love them. The quality is fantastic. Um, if you don't follow Iris Budgets, um, she did put up a video showing how she makes one of these. So if you go and look in her Etsy and you think, oh, that's really pricey. Just go watch her make it and how many laminate sheets she uses and the time and effort for putting each of the vinyl numbers on every single envelope. Like, if I was her, I'd be trashing double because <laughs> it's a graft. Um, and last but not least, my new binders and envelopes. And I am absolutely over the moon with these. And this was inspo from Iris Budgets because she has resin binders and I got an orange, a white and a black and this will be my variable, my annual and my long term. Um, yeah, I just absolutely love them. I love that they lay flat. I love that there's no like little toggle so when I open it there's nothing that gets in the way of the envelopes. But I'll show you what categories I have. So first up is our variable and we have, look, look at that, flat. It's not flipping, I don't have to bend it back and there's no little thing coming over. Oh, it's just so good. These beautiful envelopes are from Jade at Oxmail Studios and I actually feel quite bad because I think my massive order broke her poor, poor laminator. But I'm really appreciative. The quality of these is fantastic. And these are like a frosted, minimalistic vellum, but they're bigger than my aesthetic budget ones. So I love my aesthetic budget ones and my file effects. They are perfect in there. Um, and if you don't really plan on using anything bigger than a 20, they're, they're also really, really good, but obviously I use 50s and 100s and they're just, I didn't like the £100 note overhang out of the envelope because it's a really expensive bit of paper, <laughs> you know? Um, so yeah, I want it safely tucked in and not be able to get bent or touched or anything like that while it's you know not being used. So first up, we have family fun, social. Social is basically anything that I would do not with my partner and not with my kids. Just us. This is basically date night, but we don't really go on date nights often. We would get a takeaway when the kids go to bed or maybe sneak off for lunch during the day when they're at school and nursery. So I feel like Just Us was a bit more appropriate and we could put money away in here for our anniversary too. Pocket money. This is for my eldest. She won't be getting any more pocket money this week either because she's already been bad. I mean, I say bad, like, I'm, I don't feel like I'm an overstrict parent, but yeah, she just does daft things. And I'm like, oh, there's only so many times I can ask you to not do that before it gets to the point where she's just willfully being ignorant about it. Self-care, I didn't have this before and now I do and obviously I have challenges for it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and spend some money on me. <laughs> clothes, this is mostly for the kids. Um, I did have £60 for clothes and it's all gone and it literally all went on just three pairs of warm jammies. So one each for the kids and one thing each for them to wear for children in need. And that was it was actually £70. I had to take £10 out of another envelope to cover it, which is absolutely sickening in the price of stuff. School, this is just for anything throughout the year. Like tonight, my eldest has a disco at school, a Halloween disco, and it'll be £3 entry. Um, that also covers them getting a drink and food while they're there. And yeah, like the other week, um, my middle child, he had the pantomime. So I would just tuck money away in here for things throughout the year. Gifts, gifts is for anybody that's in our, not in our house, sorry. That I buy gifts for on my side of the family. Um, my partner still just gets for his family from his fin budget finances kind of thing. Dentist, kind of self-explanatory. Same for opticians. I wear glasses and my middle child's going for an eye test next week because, yeah, well, he needs glasses too. Books. I absolutely love books. I'm such a book geek. I love reading. Um, I read a lot on my Kindle Paperwhite. 
but when I read a book and I have a really strong connection with it and I really enjoy it I go out and I try to find like a really nice physical edition and I'm quite fussy with my physical edition books because if I'm going to have it in my house and it's going to take up space I want it to be perfect and I'm a really tactile person football football oh my partner's football mad he watches it he plays it he used to coach it um he watches games for teams that you know I've never even heard of they're not UK teams at all um, or even Europe teams and he is still wanting to watch and see how they play and kind of like analyse the game um, but yeah I put this in here because I would love if at the start of a season I could get him and all the kids the football strip like the new season strip but it's so expensive I think top for him would be £65 and both the boys because their size it'd be a full strip um, you wouldn't be able to buy a top by itself if you wanted to and that'd be £40 each and then my daughter's obviously quite um, tall for her age and her top would be fifty pounds, and because of the price of that, I've never bought myself one either. So I'd like to get money away in here. So next new season in August, um, yeah, I'd be able to just go and get it, and they would enjoy it for the year. Costco, I already mentioned before, um, that this save three hundred challenge will be going in here, and any money left over every two weeks for my food and home folders, folders, envelopes, and my filer packs would get reallocated into here. And then energy, this is for our energy buffer. Um, which my goal is to get to £400 by March and I currently already have £108 saved so I think I should have that goal perfectly fine so yeah that's our variable and I love this orange colour next up is our annual so white is annual and first up we have Christmas of course the biggest annual thing that happens in most people's households Halloween, that's just past, oh it's not past yet, actually Halloween's on Monday, this is Thursday um, but we have no money left in Halloween because it costs £100.97 for three kids costumes and that's absolutely sickening um, and no they weren't extravagant, no I didn't go to some like, posh Halloween shop um, unfortunately I can't sew make myself but with my daughter being 10 and in size 13 to 14 year clothing finding her a Halloween outfit that's appropriate for a 10 year old but in that clothes sizing Oh my gosh, it was so hard. Like nothing, nothing was PC. Like even Little Red Riding Hood looked like a whore. <laughs> it was an uh, absolute nightmare. Um, but yeah, I eventually found one in her size, and hers was the most expensive. It was absolutely ridiculous. Easter, Easter always catches me off guard. See, buying the amount of chocolate eggs that we have to do for the amount of kids that are like between our family and our friends is just ridiculous. So yes, Easter has its own envelope. Weekend away. Me and my partner would like to have a weekend away just by ourselves. Um, not anywhere abroad, literally just a weekend away, like in a glamping pod or a cabin to just be ourselves and enjoy each other. Holiday, we'd love to go on a holiday, family holiday. We'd actually love to take the kids each year to a different Scottish island and learn about that island and all the different things and just kind of about like heritage and things. Um, so yeah, we would need to put money away in here. Insurance, I'd just like to pay our contents insurance annually instead of monthly. Uniform, oh, absolutely hate paying for uniform. Uniform for three kids is so expensive. Um, but yeah, needs must unless you're home educating. Birthday, birthday, this isn't actually for a specific person. This is more going to be a buffer envelope for the birthday people in our house. So if they want to go for a meal on their birthday or they want to have a day out and there's not enough money left in their birthday envelope and there's not enough left in family fun, this would be the catch all for that. My partner's birthday envelope, my eldest's birthday envelope, middle child's birthday envelope youngest's birthday envelope and then mine. Um, fun fact, if you didn't know, um, all my children's birthdays are in the same week in April. From youngest to oldest, their birthdays are the 12th, 14th and 15th of April and I realised the other week, the days of the week that they were born, again from youngest to oldest, is Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Is it just me or is it absolutely creepy? And the thing is, my youngest who was born on the 12th, so before the other two, he was actually during May. And then my middle child was due like the last day of April and he came on the 14th the day before my eldest. They were all born early but she was literally only like three hours early. Which is just madness. But that's my... Um... So... Why are words escaping me? Variable and annual. And then here is our long term and this beautiful black binder. So first up we have my channel envelope, there's already money in here because I got this envelope first. I ordered, I actually messaged her and I was like, can I order just one? <laughs> to see what it looks like and how it feels and its size because again I'm very sensory and tactile and I didn't want to order 30 envelopes and 
not like them, but no, I do love them. They're great. So this is my channel envelope, and this is the money that I'm going to be tucking away in here for giveaways or if I want to buy anything new for you to watch or see on the channel, basically. Emergency fund. Uh, yeah, I would love if I could get this fully funded by the end of the year, but right now I only have £100 in it. It's the end of October, and I'm not sure, or sure I could pull £900 out my ass. Memories. Um, for me, memories is... It's not, it wouldn't be a holiday, it wouldn't necessarily be family fun. It's just that, again, this is more of a buffer catch-all. Um, yeah, if we just want to create memories of family, memories just me and my partner, memories with our parents if it's their big birthdays. Um, or, you know, just you know, going out, buying ice creams, or wanting to get a new camera to capture those memories. I'm not really sure what the exact purpose of this envelope is, but regardless, it's for making memories. Car. Um, I don't drive but my partner does and if I ever start lessons and start driving we would just share the car so I'm going to be putting some money away in here. Driving lessons, um, yeah I really need to start driving lessons. It's not a huge priority right now just because the way the world is going and the price of everything and I don't really need to travel at all right now but um, if I've got any um, money left in my travel envelope at the end of the month, so not at the end of every two weeks, at the end of the week, but at the end of the month, whatever's left in there will be going in here towards driving lessons. Tortoise, this is for Pippin, and this will be to save up for Pippin's permanent outdoor enclosure. I would love for him to have a full set up with electrics outside by the time he's five years old. Right now he's one, so between now and five, he would just have like one that he can be in when the weather is favourable, and then be in his inside table when it's not. But yeah, this is a long term goal, and it'll be expensive because tortoises need way more space than what you think. New tech, um, new tech is basically yeah what it says. If we wanted to get a new TV, if it got broken. Um, I'd love to have money set aside in here for something like that than having to pull from my emergency fund because, you know, my three-year-old hit the TV with a golf thingy. What's it called? Golf pole? Golf club? Golf club. We don't golf, but I've seen those YouTube videos and they give me the absolute fear. Thankfully, all he does is want to lick our TV, which is just annoying and leaves marks. But you never know. Hod your wished. <laughs> She's actually asked me if I, would, if I would have got an extra envelope, what would I call it? And I said, Hod your wished. Hodge your wished is basically just a Scottish way of saying be quiet, shut up, keep your opinion to yourself. Um, yeah, I think I would this, this envelope would be for me and I would put like any long term goals in here, like long term money, more than just clothes. Um, I would love to get my lips done one day and TMI uh, breast augmentation because I'm not happy with mine after having three children. Um, and I'm in the process of losing weight and I think they'll just look really, really sad by the time I get to my goal weight. Um, so this isn't a priority envelope, but I will be conscious of trying to tuck a little bit away in here every now and then. Um, but my first priority is my emergency fund, then the moving house fees, and then house decor. House decor would include flooring, paint, um, and blinds. And then after that's month ahead, and then after that I'd be cycling back to save up for new furniture, so bunk beds for the kids, um, a new couch, a new bed frame for me and my partner. And there they are, home, this will be moving home fees, so rent, hiring a van to move all our stuff for a moving team, I'd love to get a moving team because, oh my goodness, because um, moving house is awful, but we would just need to wait and see. House decor, so the, the home and the house decor is actually going to be funded from this challenge. And then month ahead, again, I would redo this challenge. And half of it would go to month ahead and half of it would go towards um, new furniture. But yeah, this is all my Happy Meal, almost. Um, I do have, um, what is it? So I do have four custom challenges coming from What If I Fly 17. I thought they would arrive today, but they haven't yet. And then I also have a lovely challenge coming from The Practical Mum. And yeah, they're not here yet. But when they do arrive, I'll obviously show you them. And yeah, that's basically all my Happy Meal. Apologise for another stupidly long video. Oh, resin binder covers. Um, this is the little company. I'll obviously leave her link below, but she's called Little Carousel Gifts. And she has Instagram and Facebook. So yeah, there's that. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching. Tomorrow I will 100% be uploading a cash stuffing video. It'll be my biggest cash stuffing to date. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.